So a lot has happened in the last three weeks. And literally nothing <laughs> at the same exact time. We haven't touched the house, but we, we're still working on it. Like 24-7. And also we realized we were really dumb in a lot of ways mm -hmm. too. Like we could have planned everything. Just We were just so much better. Oh, we just had no idea about yeah. anything. <laughs> literally nothing. The first probably biggest thing that happened over the last three weeks is that we got our general contractor. Did I sound weird when I said that? General contractor, <laughs> who we are so happy about yes. because she's a woman. So we're adding to our woman team. She's awesome. She's awesome. She has such a good personality. She's so organized. She's so on top of it, yeah. And she's like already teaching us a lot. And I think what's really cool about it too is like she realizes the value in like the social media mm -hmm. aspect of it. So it's just like a really cool she really she knows what's up for yeah, sure. She yeah, she does. So Kate, we love her, and she'll be going through the entire process. So a general contractor, if you don't know, they're the ones that manage bringing in the subcontractors and like do the entire process of the actual build of it. So I'm designing the entire thing and picking out everything and we're you know, doing everything here, but she's the one that's actually like making sure that everything's getting done, that the boiler needs to be replaced mm -hmm. or does it need to be replaced? How like that getting the air conditioner people, air conditioning people, but eventually, hopefully we can kind we of can do that ourselves. take over yeah. that, that like GC role, but because we just don't know the like timeline of everything, she is just insanely helpful. And we just don't even know what the, the, what needs to be done? Like I didn't know exactly. you had to get. Like, what is a boiler? <laughs> okay, I'm still wondering that because what's the difference between a boiler and a water heater? Like what I don't know. That's what I'm thing? saying. Like we we just have no idea. Yeah. Who do you know, Shelby? You guys are just so unqualified. Dude, I know. <laughs> We're so unqualified. <gasps> but give us like two or three of these, and I feel like yeah, we'll and we'll, we'll, we'll if be someone spewing. explains, I actually need to Google what a boiler is, yeah. and then we'll know. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. We're not that dumb. <laughs> So what the major issue that we're running into and what we should have planned better slash known before we bought mm -hmm. this house is that we bought a very historic, it's not, it's not a house that's like has historical records on it because those I knew were B-I-T-C-H's to redo, but it is in a historic neighborhood. The house is, has a ton of character. The neighborhood has a ton of character. And the city protects that. And so this, like yes. if you're trying to do any sort of construction on houses in this area, like it is so hard. It's so hard and you need so many things. Like we have other areas or like cities in our area where you can literally like you don't need to get anything you do whatever approved you by the city here we're learning you have to get so much approved and like it is unlikely for you to get approved in less than two months for us to go in front of the city one we're bringing our contractor kate because she is like she knows what to say and how to do it like you need to be so specific with how you word things and what you say otherwise they'll just shut you down right away but you also need to have all of your architectural drawings and a survey done. So a survey is something I honestly- I didn't know what it was. I heard of the word before, but like I would have not known what it was. So a survey is someone that comes to your property and marks out your exact like lot lines and their setback lines. So we're planning on doing that kitchen addition and extending the kitchen out from the living room. And so we're going pretty far, like pretty close to our lot line. And so our setback, the setback rule where this house is, is three feet. So we need to make sure that our addition doesn't hit that three feet mark or we'll literally have to tear it all down. So the survey person does that. However, no one can get you in to appointments anywhere. You can't get lumber. You can't get an appointment with anyone. Literally, F us. So that's what we're learning. So we got the earliest survey. We called so many places and they like were all like, places. yeah, we can get you in in the fall. You and were like, like, are oh you kidding me? Gosh. So the, yeah. the earliest we could get was like five weeks, which now is going to be perfect. It. And then we also need architectural drawings. Mm -hmm. So I went in, I got my interior architecture degree. So like, I, well, I'm self teaching myself how to use AutoCAD, which is what you put, like, that is what architects use for drawings, but I'm not 
fully qualified to do those drawings, nor for this first project would I really want to have that. Yeah, that's me, probably. <laughs> Eventually, I do. Like, I'm legitimately debating going back. Well, to because school, to become your, an architect, yeah. your drawings are basically identical they to the one that the architect yes. did. Which, Probably not, but... Okay, okay no, but, like, they're very basically. similar. Like, if you knew exactly what you had to be doing, like, you could just be doing it, and it would save us thousands of dollars. Right, and I'm also learning that the architect is the one that is, like, drawing it up. So, they're, in a way... Like, I have to be so specific with the designs that I want and what I want it to look like because she's going then and putting it into an actual, like, construction plan. And so, I'm just very scared like i trust her but at the same time i'm scared that there's gonna be it's gonna be different than what i want mm. when it's put into i don't know so then if you could do it yourself then if you i could do it myself yes give that responsibility to yeah. someone else basically for us to go in front of the city we need to have the architectural drawings which is the construction documents and then the survey so that's what people we're working on right now we walked around the house with the architect and um she is awesome too. I really like her. Yeah, she reminds she's me great. exactly of my aunt. Mm -hmm. So I weirdly feel like I like no know, know her even though we just <laughs> met her. Last week, Kate brought in a ton of subcontractors. Guess who I'm with? Kate, who's it's our me. badass general contractor. <laughs> okay, tell them what we did today. Oh my gosh, how many people did we have through today? A million and five. Basically. Yeah, so we had yeah. two electricians through, the drywall guy who's looking at all the plaster. Mm -hmm. We also had um, HVAC, which is huge in this project because yeah. we have a boiler and we're investigating whether or not it's worth doing air conditioning. There's no air conditioning in this house, so. Yeah, but we're close to the lake, so I think we'll be okay. I know. I think we're fine, too. Yeah. But I'd to be see, discussed. I'd rather yeah. see heated floors, right? Which we are doing. <laughs> I'm actually very excited about that. Yeah. So it was a day. Now, yes. Kate... Kate's off to another project, but gonna go meet we love her. her. Charlie, they're the project <laughs> managers. It's gonna be a good time. Yeah. Sarah was literally in hospital. <laughs> yeah. It happens too often. <laughs> she had to sit this one out, but um, it was like wild. So we had, I'm trying to remember everyone we had, we had drywall people in there, we had flooring people in there, we had the electrician, and then we had the heating and hvac people so so much happened and so many decisions were having to be made which like is making me now want to just go on pinterest and like make sure that i know exactly yeah. what i want to do because they were asking me things that i was like oh my god i don't know okay so right off the bat it was exciting because we had flooring people in there we have these old historic floors and so we're planning on refinishing those and then in the kitchen matching those like get putting new ones in that match the old ones and same with the mass or the main bedroom oak is just the most white oak is the most popular wood right now and so i was crossing my fingers that they were oak they are oak which is That's so awesome. awesome but something that interesting that the flooring guy said was he's not sure if it's red oak or white oak we're hoping it's white oak but he did say that white oak is more expensive and then we had the electrician guy electrician guys in there they were really nice and funny they were like saying funny things um <laughs> They were like RH. I was like, oh my god, like do I need to act cool? Do I need to act like I wasn't sure what to do? <laughs> well, I was like, I want to make sure in the kitchen because I know for my kitchen at my apartment, like there's only a plug on one side of the island, which is oh, just so yeah. freaking annoying. So I was like, I want to make sure that there are plugs like everywhere, everywhere in the right direction. And they were like, well, a lot of it's up to code, so you don't have a lot of play with that. But then even for like the bathroom, you want a sconce, like three sconces. So in the, like the main bedroom, there's like, obviously we're doing a double sink. And then, so there's two mirrors. So there'd be a, one sconce, one sconce in the middle and then one sconce on uh, the side. Or like, do you want two? So one What did you have in the drawing? Three. So okay. I said three. And I was like, do you want stuff on dimmers? Like for, do you want them right next to the nightstand? Like, it was just so many things. That's, like, like, so specific. No, but that's, like, things that you probably didn't even yeah. think of. It was awesome because I was like, all right, I actually have to start thinking about these things. Drywall guy was another uh, yeah. big one. So we have plaster throughout the entire main floor. Intense. Intense plaster. And it's plaster. intense. Like, plaster, like, this plaster is in right now. Like, this room is in right now, too. This plaster, that ours plaster is, is not in. Like, it is so thick. It's very hard to find someone to fix plaster. This plaster needs a lot of fixing. It just being a very expensive process. And so, we're ripping it all down. 
Which, which she'll be so happy about. I feel bad saying I'm happy about, but I am really happy about it. Just you wanted that gone like the minute we stepped foot into that house. I, I just do not know how we're going to be able to do this in budget. Yeah. And like the issue with like our budget is that like we need to kind of stick to the budget because we won't be able to sell the house for more. Mm -hmm. Like we're already pulling it really close with like making any money from this house. Yeah, like we, if we just break even. If we break even because it's our first property, like we are going to call it a win. Yeah. But like I'm starting to look at things and like hearing different costs thrown out there and I'm like, dude, things are so expensive. Right now too. Like right now it's just a bad time to yeah. do it. I'm also learning. I have to learn how to like be very set in stone about what I want. Like I, I think that when I'm talking to like adults or like mm -hmm. people that I feel inferior to, I'm like, okay, like kind of like they'll like, throw out ideas and yeah, you'll be, be like, like sure. All right. When it's just even not in my head, want. I'm like, no, like, like, absolutely not. not. <laughs> so this house doesn't have air conditioning, which is like obviously you need air conditioning. And especially for what we're trying to sell this house for. Like I could just not wrap my head around selling this house at the co price that we want to sell it for and not With having AC, yeah. air conditioning and so like we even called our realtor and was like okay like two houses because it, in the area like they were saying that it's it's kind of normal not to have air conditioning because the house they're all are, very old homes they're just old homes so it's hard to get air conditioning in there like to you have to do piping and whatever and stuff like that and and so our realtor was like you have to have it so this is gonna cost a freaking pretty penny, especially because, so the HVAC guy was giving a few options. One of the options, the cheaper option, was to do those wall units that you literally, they They're so stick ugly. out from the wall. And right away I was like, absolutely not. Like, this is like a brand thing. Like, I don't want, like we can't have those in mm -hmm. our pictures, like literally. And also like, no one's gonna, like if I wanna do this, like. I can't do it like it's exactly my house, but I'm like, if it was my house, I would literally not like. Well, and you're you're paying so much money for this house, you don't want those in. No, like, that's exactly. Ugly. It's so the other option. Basically, we had two options. One, well, three options. One, we do Unico, which I hope I'm saying that right, but that is the traditional HVAC air conditioning that you see. That's like inside the walls. There's the vents. That's the ideal situation, also by far the most expensive situation mm -hmm. to do. And then we have, we could just do the air conditioning with the wall units upstairs, which the upstairs, like having those wall units upstairs, you can do them on the ground. It's like, that's not as big of a deal to me because it's upstairs, it's kid's bedroom. So like whatever. And then the downstairs wouldn't be air conditioned, but like the upstairs is what gets hot or we could do no air conditioning in general. But I think that we decided we have to. Do we that. have to do it. We have to do the Unico. So we're spending the money on it. So future owners, you're welcome. <laughs> that is exciting. When do we think we'll actually start? Oh god, like for real start? Yeah, like hit hit down a wall. Um, August first. Is that too? I'm just going through the timeline of it. Like, I legitimately, if it actually takes two months to go through the city. So, September 1st. Literally, it'd be September 1st. If we could start by August 1st, that'd be awesome. What did we say last time we did this? We literally we just took post. Do we, do we have it recorded? Yeah, yeah we're like, I someone said, said July 15th. I, I think said I said July 5th. July 29th. I think I said July. No, you said like July 4th. Or yeah. July no, 5th. I think I, I said, said July 5th. 5th. And then I said right after July 4th. And then something happened. Anyways, I switched it to like July 29th or something like that. I think end of July earliest. We switched it a few times. We switched it a few times. If we could hit down walls by August, that would be like Anytime amazing. in August. Seriously. But I really think that's the, it's everything's just a waiting game. Like nothing is in our control anymore. We're doing everything. It's really in the city's control and yeah. all the people that everything is taking so long. Like, the survey like we can't control that everyone yeah like up. we like to think that we are people's <laughs> main priorities <laughs> we no, are not literally bottom of the line yeah bottom so, of the totem pole yeah but things are moving just at like a literal snail like, pace snail pace but we're getting there honestly it's probably good for us because we're just learning so much stuff now we can really absorb okay i think that's it for the update <laughs> hopefully next video i don't even like we'll, we'll 
just rolling with the punches. We're just <laughs> rolling <laughs> with it. Who, who knows yeah. what the next video is going to break? Could be very, Hopefully something good. very exciting. Yeah. yeah. Subscribe to our channel. We have so many good videos coming out. And just this house stuff is like my favorite thing we've ever done. Oh, it's so exciting. I like literally tell Sarah all the time. I'm like, this is what I want the channel to become is us doing this house stuff like 24 seven. Um, and then make sure to also subscribe to my Instagram by Sophia Lee. We do a ton. Do you feel the yeah, sure. We do a ton of behind the scenes, or I do a ton of behind the scenes there. And it's just like a really tight knit group of people. So that's also exciting. We'll see you at the next video. Video. <laughs>